What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can tell, absolutely no progress has been accomplished on the van. And uh, to make things better, today we're gonna go get another broken van. You know, you may be asking yourself, why am I gonna drive multiple states away with a rented U-Haul trailer to buy another broken van when there's a perfectly good broken van sitting right here? Wow, this van's a little bit special. And uh, you, I'm not gonna spoil anything, you just gotta wait till the end to see what it is. So tomorrow morning, we're gonna get up, drive to the U-Haul rental place, pick up our trailer, and then we get to drive all the way down and around the lake over to Illinois. So my, uh, Driver's side rear tire just blew out. I'm currently sitting on the side of the freeway waiting for help. I called a couple places and there's a place right nearby that has towing services. This trip is not going as planned. Quick update, I called this place called John's Towing, or excuse me, I called this place called Jeff's Towing, it happens to be not too far away. They're sending a tow truck to come over and help me out. Uh, the spare is rusted in place and the tire is dry rotted because why wouldn't it be? So they're gonna have to tow me and there's a bell tire nearby and we're gonna get some new rear tires and hopefully continue on our way. Fingers crossed. Three hours later. All right, we are back in action. We got some uh, Mastercraft tires mounted on here. They're the same size, not the same tires that we have up front, but uh, they should do the trick. So let's continue. Thanks to all these delays, we got the van loaded up, and of course I didn't film it again because it was just, it was too dark and it wasn't really picking up anything, but hopefully I'm not gonna be buying any more broken vans, so unfortunately I don't think you guys will be able to see me winch it onto the trailer, but you know, you can imagine how exciting and fun it is to hand winch a van onto a trailer. We got it all loaded up, and now we are just driving for a little bit and hopefully find a place to stay for the night. It's almost six o'clock. Uh, dragged the van, drove through the nights to avoid traffic. Uh, I'm at a rest stop now. I got the bed set up, and I am gonna go to bed and get some sleep, and then continue driving home in the morning, or I guess later today at this point. We got the donor van back here, safe and sound. It only costs uh, one set of tires and about two days of driving. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna get this unloaded and then we'll take a little look at it and go through it. So I just got back from returning a U-Haul trailer. Um, everything went smooth. Returned it uh, just before they closed, and now we'll take a quick little tour of the van. The body itself is not the best. It's all pretty, pretty rotted out underneath. Um, if, if you uh, look up underneath there, you can see that you can see the flooring, like through the bottom. So it's fully like rusted through. It's not just these little side patches. It's got all these little RV. It's got water in. It's got some sort of exhaust vent. It's got a cool little tire carrier. Coming over here, we got the classic ladder. We got a water hookups, I think, and a little 
a little power plug. So I think they patched a window here. This door's seen some better days. It's all kind of dinged up. But yeah, all this, this whole van thing, is pretty much about this. This was our, this was our main focus. All right, are you guys ready for this? Boom. Look at that. 6'3", able to comfortably stand up in this thing. Oh my gosh, the pop top life. I'm so excited. It's, uh, it's in pretty decent shape. All the zippers seem to work. We were playing with these earlier. I'm zipping them and zipping them. Uh, some of the plastic's a little worn. Like this guy. But yeah, the headliner's in good shape. Got a little pop-out vent. We'll probably replace this with one of those fantastic fans. They started doing some sort of power thing in here. I haven't really looked into this much. Um, but yeah, it's got a couple outlets. It's got these little like Harbor Freight lights. Up here's pretty rough. These seats have seen a lot of butts. And then we got a crazy little tie-dyed uh, dash over there. But yeah, headliners are in good shape. I kind of like this quilted look. It'll be a lot brighter than the blue that's in our van. But I'm not quite sure. I haven't figured out yet exactly what we're going to move around. I mean, I know it's a little bit down the, down the road. But yeah, it's a, it's a cool setup. It's just this little crank right here. Let's just crank it on down. Just like that, it's all nice and low again and you can fit down any trail you want. So yeah, I think uh, Pop Top is definitely the way to go. And I'm really excited for that. Oh, I'm really excited to finally have this thing back here. Uh, it's been a stressful couple days, you know, between the blowout and the traffic and the, the chaos. But yeah, the, our little van pulled this thing fine and hopefully we won't have to pull any more junk vehicles for a while. So yeah, stay tuned as we rip this thing apart and combine it with the other van and build uh, an amazing camper van. I'm excited.